This is Albi, the magnificent city at the border of the wild Tarn River in the southwest, just north of Toulouse. It is also the native place of the great French painter Toulouse Lautrec, and it is famous for the most splendid Greek cathedral in France. It is a region with many specialities. The local pink garlic is one of the best I have used in my cooking. The Lou Tarnes is a delicious local cake made with sweet pastry, filled with apples, a marmalade of the local grape, a little bit of vanille, and topped with a meringue of walnuts and almonds. The local farmers are very creative and make some delicious cheeses of all shapes, some with cow's milk, ewe's milk, and goat milk. This rustic region is well known for its love of game food. And at nearby farm, Les Pigeons du Mont-Royal, Lionel Moneret breeds pigeons for many of the top restaurants in France. Donc, euh, en présence, nous avons 5000 couples de pigeons. Ces pigeons vivent dans des volières. Et euh, la volière, elle est, elle est. Dans la volière, dans chaque volière, il y a 32 couples. Il y en a toujours euh, 32 couples ou est-ce que. Alors oui, oui. Bon, oui. Le, le chiffre 32, oui, oui. c'est c'est vraiment 16 et 16, 16 en fait. Et 16, oui, ils, sont, ils sont en vis-à-vis -vis, en fait, oui. <rire> qui euh, donnent naissance chaque mois à peu près à deux petits pigeons. Les deux parents couvent les œufs à la naissance des petits, vont élever par euh, la béquée en leur donnant à manger par le bec. A diet including lots of unprocessed corn is the key to breeding young pigeons for the table. At the farm, Lionel and his team transform pigeon meat into terrines and confit that have been slowly cooked in olive oil and rosemary. Back in beautiful Albi, in his restaurant L'Esprit du Vin, talented chef David Angelran loves serving roasted pigeon, pink with baby vegetables from local growers. It is so delicious, it is very tender, it is gamey, it is sweet, it's just marvelous. These delicious almond biscuits are a specialty of Cordes, one of the most picturesque villages of the region. First, I have some roasted almonds, then I beat two egg whites with 250 grams of sugar until creamy. Next, I delicately fold in 140 grams of sifted plain flour. Then I add the almonds and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence before combining all the ingredients together. It is best to rest the biscuit dough for about half an hour before baking it. It's easier to roll the dough to a thickness of about one centimeter between two layers of baking paper. I cut the dough in half and then cut biscuits about two centimeters wide. The biscuits take about eight minutes to cook in the oven at 200 degrees. I love serving these cold, crunchy croc on the cords with baked figs and raspberries and dusted with icing sugar. Yum! Tomorrow, we discover the great specialties in one of the best markets of the Pyrenees.